Okay, guys. So we're starting unit two today. So tonight, please put your name on the packet and your period. And then tonight is the eighth. So we are going to on um, cover inequality symbols and lesson two point one single variable inequalities. Okay. So that's just two pages. Just they're separate on the table of contents. So let's go ahead and put over here, um, look, just review. These are some things you probably knew from in the past, but you're going to need to familiarize yourself with your inequality symbols. Remember, um, whatever side is open means that's the greater, th that's the number, that's greater, okay? The alligator wants to eat the bigger number, right? So this means greater than, okay, because the bigger uh, side is open first when you read left to right. So greater than. Um, and when we say, uh, when there's a circle on a graph, we leave that circle open because it is not greater than or equal to. So if you look down here, greater than or equal to has this line down here, and that's when you fill in the circle when it's equal to. So here's an example of how you would graph that. Less than is still open because it's not less than or equal to. And then greater than or equal to. Remember that has the line here. It is completely filled in now. And if you're if you're trying to graph x is greater than or equal to zero, you will fill in a, the dot on zero, and then the the line the, the arrow would be going to the right. Greater than's always go to the right. It goes greater than on the number line. So all the numbers are increasing here. It's the positive side. All the numbers are decreasing this way. So less than's go to the left. So not equal to is an equal sign with a not sign through it, slash through it. It is still an open dot, but um, it, it goes both directions, okay? And then, of course, equal to is just a single dot filled in because it's equal, and there's no arrows, okay? All right, so let's look at page two, which these are the notes. Okay. So here's this, the, the thing with this unit is this is the good news. We follow the same instructions, the same steps as equations from unit one. The only difference is now, instead of an equal sign, you're going to have a greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to sign, okay? Instead of the equal sign in these equations. So, and the other thing, this is the other change, when you multiply, multiply or divide both sides of inequality by the same negative value, only on negatives, you switch the inequality symbol. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here we're going to solve each inequality and then graph the solution. So on this one, this is like your equal sign in an equation. You're going to draw that line there like we normally do to show both sides. We're trying to get the x by itself. So we got to get rid of this over here. We're going to add 2 to both sides, so this zeroes out, and this becomes 8x is less than or equal to 8. We did not multiply or divide by a negative, so we did not have to flip the sign. So x is less than 8. We keep the same symbol. And when we go to graph that, we are going to graph 8, and then one number above it, and one number below it, and less than goes to the left, and it's an open circle because it's not less than or equal to. Okay? Number two. Negative 8x is greater than negative 32. So this is just a one-step equation. We're going to just divide that negative 8 off of both sides to get your x by itself, and this is going to leave us a... Um, Negative divided by negative, but when you 
start when you divide or multiply by a negative, an alarm should go off in your head. Beep, 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 beep. Flip the sign. Flip the sign. Okay, so you flip your sign. And if this is going to equal a, a positive number, but when you flip that sign, um, you did it because you divided by a negative. So remember our notes up here. Multiply or divide by a negative, you flip your sign. So now the sign is now flipped. X is less than 4. So you put your number line. Okay, less than 4. It's not less than or equal to. It's an open circle. All right. Number 3. 12 minus 3x is greater than 18. So uh, we want to get this x by itself. So we're going to uh, subtract 12 from both sides to get this to zero out. And this ends up being 6. Negative 3x is greater than 6. Okay. Well, the last step is we need to divide by that negative 3. And just then, since you're dividing by a negative, it should go, an alarm should go off in your head. D, 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 D. We just divided by a negative. You have to flip your sign. So your answer is going to be a less than. Okay, flip that sign. And it's X is less than 6 divided by negative 3, which is a negative 2. So now down here, 2... Oops, negative 2, negative 1, negative 3. Okay? Open circle, less than, to the left, negative 2. And let's do one more. One more. So we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. We have 9x is less than, oops, well, yeah, let's add this, this makes this an equal to, put an equal to sign there, so it's less, it's less than or equal to, um, and then what is this, negative 3 divided by, I mean, negative 3 minus 15 is negative 18, okay, so now we're dividing by 9 to get that 9 off the x, that is not a negative number, so we don't have to flip our sign, it stays the same, so we end up with x is less than or equal to negative 2. Okay, and now I wanted you to make that an equal to so we could practice coloring that in because it's an equal to. Okay, it's a closed circle and it's less than, so we're going to go to the left. That's all you have for tonight. Tomorrow in class, we'll be doing some more work with this. Have a good night.